Okay, now we're going to talk about special reports. What do audit reports look like when the client uses a special purpose framework, a framework of accounting other than GAAP? We're so used to seeing the client using GAAP to prepare their financial statements for the audit, right? But sometimes the CPA will audit financial statements that were prepared on a basis of accounting other than GAAP, known as a special purpose reporting framework. So in the audit, the CPA still uses gas, even though the client did not follow GAAP. And if we gave a typical audit report, we would have to give an adverse opinion because no, the client's financial statements do not conform with GAAP, but that's done purposefully. There's a reason why they chose a special purpose framework. And the audit report has to clearly reflect that. So even companies that use GAAP will sometimes prepare their financial statements on a special purpose framework, such as the cash basis, and may require an audit of those cash basis statements. So audits of financial statements that are prepared using a special reporting framework are referred to as special reports and typically include financial statements prepared on the cash basis or maybe the income tax basis. Cash basis revenue equals what was collected in cash. Cash basis expense equals what was paid in cash. And sometimes a company will prepare financial statements purely on the cash basis. And if the CPA audits these financial statements, the auditor follows gas even though the client did not follow GAAP. But instead the client followed a special purpose framework like the cash basis or maybe the income tax basis. And there's a couple of others, the regulatory basis or contractual basis. Those are the big four when it comes to special purpose frameworks. The income tax basis is a special purpose framework that's used to file tax returns because most corporate tax returns require the assets and liabilities to be presented on the tax return, not just the income and deductions. So if the client needs to prepare financial statements on the same basis of accounting as the tax return, that's a special purpose framework known as income tax basis. All right, here's a question. Which of the following is considered a special purpose framework according to the AICPA? A, generally accepted accounting principles. No, that's the framework. A special purpose framework is a framework that's not GAAP. How about generally accepted auditing standards? No, that's not a framework. That's not a reporting framework. C, cash basis and income tax basis? Yeah. So we'll go with C because cash basis and income tax basis are special purpose frameworks along with contractual basis and regulatory basis. Special purpose frameworks are non-GAAP. All right, how about this one? Which of the following is correct regarding a CPA auditing an entity and issuing a special report? A says the CPA uses generally accepted auditing standards to ensure that the client follow generally accepted accounting principles. No. That's the right answer if it's not a special report, if it's a regular typical audit report, then A would look good. But this is a special report, which means the client didn't use GAAP. They purposely didn't use GAAP. B, the CPA uses the special purpose framework to ensure that the client follow generally accepted accounting principles. No, the CPA doesn't use the special purpose framework. The CPA uses generally accepted auditing standards even though the client did not follow generally accepted accounting principles, and that would be letter C. D says the CPA uses generally accepted accounting principles, no, to ensure that the client followed the special purpose framework, no. In a special report, the CPA did an audit, and that means the CPA followed GAS, generally accepted auditing standards, even though the client did not follow GAP, but instead followed a special purpose framework. So we're going with letter C. All right, what about financial statement titles when you use a special purpose framework? We know that if a company uses GAAP, the financial statements have to be appropriately titled like income statement, balance sheet, statement of operations, statement of cash flows. But the AICPA reserves these titles to financial statements prepared in accordance with GAAP. So if a company does not use GAAP, the financial statements purposely should not be titled income statement balance sheet as a heads up that it's a special purpose framework and it's not GAAP. So if it's not GAAP, you shouldn't see statement of operations or statement of cash flows or income statement or balance sheet. If it's a special purpose framework like a cash basis financial statement, instead of income statement, the title should be statement of revenue collected and expenses paid. 
instead of balance sheet, the title should be Statement of Assets and Liabilities. And on the exam, choose an appropriate title for cash basis financial statements. Don't choose income statement, balance sheet, statement of operations, or statement of cash flows. Those will be the wrong answers if it's a special purpose framework. The footnotes in the financial statement should also include a summary of significant accounting policies and a general description of how the special purpose framework differs from GAAP. Now, this general description does not include dollar amounts. It doesn't have to be quantified. It doesn't have to include columns that say, well, if it was GAAP based, these would be the numbers. But since it's cash basis, here are the numbers. It doesn't have to include that. Just a general description of how the special purpose framework differs from GAAP. All right, which of the following titles would not be appropriate for financial statements prepared using the income tax basis of accounting? Now, the income tax basis is a special purpose framework. So you wouldn't want to use balance sheet or statement of cash flows or income statement in the title. So the answer is D. All of these would not be appropriate. Why? Because according to the AICPA, the use of such titles like balance sheet, statement of operations, income statement, statement of cash flows, that should be reserved for financial statements prepared in accordance with GAAP. How about this one? Which of the following titles would be considered suitable for financial statements prepared on the cash basis? Okay, so now which titles would be appropriate for a special purpose framework? And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with reporting or any part of the CPA audit exam, Get yourself on I-75, where the right teacher makes all the difference.